Hey everybody, it's Brian from Cocktails with the Coleman's and Cruising with the Coleman's. Last week, if you follow us on social media, you might have seen that we had a Mary Pickford cocktail at an event that we went to at the United States Air Force Museum. And we're gonna show you how to make it, but we're gonna do a little uh, take on it that's a little different because the cocktail kind of falls a little flat. So I've made some improvements to it, I think, and we're gonna call it a spicy Pickford. So normally it's made with white rum. We're gonna use some spiced rum, two ounces, into a shaker with ice. Also, gonna add two ounces of pineapple juice. Fresh pineapple juice, of course, would be best, but this is gonna be delicious too. Now, here's what makes the Mary Pickford, uh, and the pineapple juice is normal too, by the way. So grenadine, I'm gonna use a half an ounce of grenadine, which would normally go in the Mary Pickford, and that's normally where it would stop. But we are also gonna add half of an ounce of lime juice, gonna just brighten it up a little bit, give it some more flavor. I'm also gonna add about a quarter of an ounce of maraschino cherry juice. And I love these filthy maraschino cherries. They are delicious. And then the last thing to give it some spice are some tiki bitters. This is Jamaican number one made by Bitter Cube. They're delicious. We're gonna add about one dash, which in this case is about a dropper full. We're gonna give the whole thing a fantastic shake. All right, the Mary Pickford would normally go into a coupe glass, but a martini glass works perfectly well. The color is a little bit different because of the spiced rum, and uh, it's got a little cloudy. You're gonna get a little bit of foam because of the pineapple juice. Now, we're gonna garnish this with a maraschino cherry, and it is gonna be delicious. Cheers, everybody.